What's going on, everybody? I am Frugal Listed Lupus Sister. I am coming to you all today with a video to let you all know what has been going on with me uh, recently. First off, I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers. I'm sliding back here with my part of my head cut off here. But first, I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers. I really do appreciate you guys. Y'all are amazing. I thank you so, so much for um, commenting, sharing, you know, just chatting about lupus and just tell me, tell, telling me about your stories and some of the issues that you are having. I really do appreciate everything. I'm sitting here having some Waffle House. Almost done, though. I had, um, my daughter went to get some because, you know, of course, today is Father Day. So all of my subscribers out there who are fathers, Happy Father's Day um, to you all out there. And for those of you who are going to celebrate or be with your loved ones, your father or whomever today, hope you all have a blessed day um, and just love on each other. That's all we can do. Just be happy. But my daughter went out to get some breakfast because I really didn't feel like getting up early to do anything. But of course, I did get my husband a gift for Father's Day. I got him... Um, a sound bar over there. I don't know if you can see it, but part of it over there. Let me see. Got him a sound bar over there for his TV. And of course, y'all already know. He already he already have the TV up like loud anyway, but you know, that's him. But that's what he wanted. So he got that. I got my dad one as well. But um we having some breakfast mom having some breakfast they already um out and about he went to go see his father i should be going to see my dad um a little bit later on he and my mom decide they want to go to the lake this weekend so my family and i well me and my girls want to go out there and see my dad i'll probably do some fishing too but really my oldest daughter she had brunch plans isn't that something so she's going out to brunch with her friends. I told her, if you are not back by the time I get ready to go, I am like this. And my youngest daughter, she stayed over to, with her friends last night. So she's coming home. She should be on her way home. But needless to say, if they are not here, I'm going to see my dad anyway. But I am eating breakfast. I have some hash browns. I like my eggs over um, hard. And I have coffee. I just want to talk with you all to let you all know what is going on with me. I have been experiencing um, shortness of breath and some discomfort like in my chest. I know you probably have heard me talk about it before, but I've, I've been having some discomfort with that. And um, I went to an urgent care. Was it Monday? Maybe Monday? Monday or Tuesday of this week for shortness of breath because I really um, needed to have something done to see what's going on because I made an appointment to see a pulmonologist, which I'll be seeing them on tomorrow. But he uh, suggested I get a chest x-ray. So I went to an urgent care uh, facility. She did a chest x-ray. She said everything looked okay. But um, she asked me if I had ever had asthma I like, I don't, you know, recall any of my doctors, you know, diagnosing me with asthma, but my previous pulmonologist had given me um, Simbacort because I know that I've been using that a lot lately, but the urgent care physician did, um, what kind of treatment, a breathing treatment on me. It was the first time I've ever had a breathing treatment and I felt a lot better, even, um, Today, I still feel a little bit better, but I will see a pulmonologist tomorrow. I wish I could get my results from my previous um, pulmonologist, which I saw maybe like a couple, about two or three years ago, just to share my results. But she had mentioned that it could be, what are you, how do you pronounce that word? It's weird, like inflammation of your breastbone and inflammation like within your chest area here, because you know, I do have. Um, pericardia infusion so i am speaking that that is going to be taken care of it's cleared up with the medication speaking it but since i do have that she just want to make sure that i did not have any uh, inflammation in my chest but um 
I'm feeling a little bit better. I know I still need to go see a Puma now just because I have not followed with one, like I said, in two to three years. So I need to see one because my shortness of breath sometimes can be a little bit uh, worrisome. And um, I just want to make sure I'm doing okay. So once I, and I've been having this cough, I am on Cardizem and I read the instructions and all about the side effects. And one of the side effects they have for Cardizem is coughing. So I contacted my cardiologist in regards to the Cardizem and, um, Excuse me, y'all. But um, she said she doesn't think that the cardizem is actually causing my coughing. She wants me to follow up with my primary care doctor first and see what they say. And then talk with her. So what I'm going to do, this is my plan that I'm, that I'm going to do. I'm going to see a pulmonologist, pulmonologist tomorrow and see what he has to say about this nagging cough that I have and also the shortness of breath and the discomfort here, like in my lungs. See what he has to say. Secondly, I am going to see my GI. The reason why I'm going to see my GI because the last time that I had this cough, I had some um, inflammation in my throat in regards to my esophagus. She said that I had... Um, what did she say? What was that? Um, candida? I'm not sure because um, candida, I think if she said I had, and she prescribed something for that, like in my throat. And she said that's kind of prevalent with people who have lupus, who have, with any type of autoimmune disease that you do have some type of um, candida in your throat. And I can tell that I may, like I, something is just going on. So first I'm gonna follow up with the pulmonologist. Secondly, I'm going to see um, my GI doctor because she had already wanted me to have an endoscopy. Anyway, I'm going to follow up with her, see what that shows. Thirdly, then I will follow up with my PCP. I'm going to let her know what's going on anyway, but then I'm going to follow up with my PCP. And after that, I'm going to talk to my um, cardiologist to let her know that we did all these tests. If I still have this nagging, like coughing, I'm not producing anything, just like a... <laughs> <laughs> all the time so I'm going to see what they say about that and then I will go to her with you know they tried everything I really think it's the medication because my dad had was taking I think lisinopril a while back and he would just have this cough and come to find out it was one of his medications so we're going to see I'm going to do my checks and balances before I actually go back to her to say hey you know we did everything we need to do my um I still have this cough, but we will see. But I am doing okay overall. Um, like I said, I've been dealing with that. I've been kind of tired. So my, my, one of my plans and my goal is to start back walking and exercising, trying to build up my strength of my heart and my lungs. I tried to push back on exercising because I, I was afraid that um, I would get like my heart rhythm all out of whack but now I am going to try to do heart and lung exercises to get it back together because God forbid if I have to run somewhere or run I don't want to be first you know easily to get tired to give out a breath I don't want that and um, and I love to dance um, things like that with my church so I can't dance if I get very tired or winded so easily so I'm going to do some exercising for my heart and my lungs just to get it back together and just my overall well-being. Of course, you probably say, can you put this coffee down because, you know, this is not good for you anyway. But I'm trying, y'all. I am trying. Really trying. And for those of you all who've been um, subscribing to my channel for a while, know that I love chocolate chip cookies. Chocolate chip cookies, like I've always said, is my kryptonite. You give me some chocolate chip cookies, I'm like set and made. But I am doing better, trying to watch what I eat and just take care of myself and feel better. But let me know how you all are doing and what you all are going through. If you have any plans for today, or if you have any upcoming um, vacations, let me know. Because we all a family here on this channel, okay? But you all, 
take care of yourselves do what you have to do to stay healthy and you know what i will talk to y'all later